Hey everybody, welcome back to Some Things Fishy. If you haven't been here before, I would encourage you to subscri subscribe. We've got some great content, great videos, especially about clownfish on the channel already and some more coming out soon. So if you're coming back for a second time, third time, fourth time, it's great to see you. Appreciate your support. Let's get into the video though. Today, it's gonna be a relatively quicker one. Super, super excited because I just recently got some great footage of some gold striped maroon clownfish. Now, if you guys are pretty familiar with the channel, there have been some times where I've really ragged on maroon clownfish. We have a whole video about should you, should you not get maroons for your tank. Really, it just depends on your experience level, what kind of tank you have, what kind of tank, what kind of fish you have in the tank. Uh, are you getting the maroons prepared, like older or smaller? Really kind of depends. I've had some bad experiences with, with maroons in the past. But putting all of that aside, all of that aside, maroon clownfish, in my opinion, especially as babies, are the prettiest, most gorgeous fish, clownfish, on the market that you can buy. They are just so pretty, so cool looking, and I'm a big fan of them. So I just recently got this awesome footage of maroon clownfish, gold striped maroon clownfish, and I wanted to make a small little video about them, just so you guys could see this great footage that I got, and kind of look at them and, and see what you think, and Maybe it influences you to buy them, maybe it doesn't, but at the very least, you'll learn a little bit more about maroons, especially gold striped maroons, in this video. And, you know, maybe I can influence you to make a decision on whether you want these for your tank or not, so you can get some of these in there uh, with the fish that you have so far. So, let's kind of talk about these gold striped maroons. Um, there's a lot of, there's not, I'm not going to see a lot of different types and colors and, and designs of maroon clownfish because there's really not a lot compared to like Ocellaris or Percula clowns. Those breeds of clownfish have way more designers, way more designs, way more colors, way more patterns. So the main ones that you'll see with the maroon clownfish breed are gold stripe maroons than just like regular maroons where it's more of a white stripe. And then you can also get like a uh, lightning maroon clownfish and I'm, I'm looking to make a video about that today hopefully or maybe soon so look for that video coming out about lightning maroon clownfish um but maroon clownfish gold stripe maroon clownfish really cool one of the coolest types of maroon clowns that you can get in my opinion i think lightning maroons are a little bit more visually visually appealing just because the little extra design and shapes and colors that you have with them but nonetheless these clownfish are super gorgeous super cool looking and they're really not that expensive. I've seen lightning maroons uh, at my local fish store for like 15 bucks, 25 for a pair. I would assume that gold, gold stripe clownfish are about the same. I'll look and see if I can uh, get some more specific pricing and put it in the description for you. Really it just depends on the market you're in, if you buy them online or in the store, and what state you live in or country in that, in that matter. But so that's uh, you shouldn't expect to pay a whole ton for maroon clowns. Um, one thing to keep in mind when you get these gold striped maroon clownfish, if you do and do feel inclined to get them after seeing this video, is getting clowns or maroon clownfish as babies can be pretty risky. I've seen so many dead maroon clownfish at the bottom of the, the tanks that I go to in my local store. They just kill each other like crazy, almost like beta fish level where they just cannot cohabitate very well. But like you're seeing in this video, there's three, four big fully grown maroon clownfish in this tank so um it can happen you know they might be a little aggressive when they're young and when you first put them in the tank but if they survive and they don't kill each other uh, and they pair you're going to be totally fine so the key is getting your maroon your gold stripe maroon clownfish to pair especially at a young age so that they don't just so it's not just a bloodbath um they do have aggressive tendencies. They might be aggressive towards other fish, but I wouldn't, wouldn't really worry about them of, about them killing your other fish. One thing to keep in mind that I would encourage you to do is if you have a tank, and maybe you're starting a new tank or you already have a tank, is put your maroon clownfish, your pair or the, the individual in towards the end of when you're getting fish. That way your other fish, if your maroons, your gold striped maroons do tend to act a little bit more aggressively towards other fish, your fish will know where to hide, they'll have their own territory, and then the maroons can go find their own place to live, cohabitate, and especially if you, if you have an anemone in there for them, it's gonna be very quick, a very quick adaptation for them. In terms of feeding your gold striped maroon clowns, similar to really any other clownfish or fish, um, mysis, shrimp, brine is going to be totally fine. You can even do pellets or flake food with them. That's going to be totally great. They're going to love it. They'll be fine. Really hardy fish, besides the fact that they might be aggressive towards each other, maroons or gold striped maroons specifically, are hardy. They're great. 
shouldn't have much of an issue. So uh, if you're looking to kind of spice up your tank, get something different in there, I would say that Gold Stripe Maroon Clowns are a great addition that you can put in your tank. They kind of have like this little demony look to them, I would say, because as they when they're young, they have a very vibrant red, but when they start to grow older, they get to this deeper, darker, like sinister red, uh, almost like a dark scarlet, and they have like red eyes. So they have kind of this demony look, uh, which I think is kind of cool. You might not think is super cool. If you want that cute clown, I would go for more of a orange ox ocellaris, or maybe even like a um, one of the white ones you can get on the market as well. But uh, yeah, that's that's kind of what I would like to say about maroon clownfish, especially this gold gold stripe maroon clowns. They're gorgeous, very cool. Might be a little aggressive, but if you can get past that, it's going to be a great purchase. You're going to love them in your tank. So thanks for joining us today at Something Fishy. I hope you found some value in this video. If you haven't yet, we really encourage you to subscribe. We're growing, we're excited, we're looking forward to the future of the channel and you can help us do that. So like the video and tell us, tell us what you think below and we'll see you next time.